There are tons of new features for the iPhone and iPad inside of iOS and iPadOS 14. However, AirPods and AirPods Pro specifically will be getting some fancy new features. And so in this video, we're gonna go over the best new features for your AirPods coming to iOS 14. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications whenever we share a video. Unfortunately, a lot of these features are not yet available for us to test out, most likely due to the fact that your AirPods or AirPods Pro will need some sort of a firmware update once everything is ready to go. But we can still talk about what we can expect to see later this fall, and the first new feature that you can expect to see is automatic device switching. One of the best things about owning AirPods is that if you own any other Apple product, your AirPods are already set up and paired with every single Apple device that you might own, thanks to iCloud. All you have to do is connect to them when you are ready to listen to music or watch a movie on that specific device. In iOS 14, Apple takes this one step further and provides users with a new feature that will automatically switch your AirPods to a different device. So if you're on a phone call on your iPhone and then you end that call and pick up your iPad and start watching a movie, your AirPods will just switch to that device without you having to do anything. If you start to get a FaceTime call and then want to answer that call on your Mac, your AirPods will detect and make that switch automatically. This feature is compatible with your iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch, Mac, and Apple Watch. A cool accessibility feature that's coming to AirPods is headphone accommodations, which are designed to amplify soft sounds and adjust certain frequencies for someone's hearing needs. This feature can help music, movies, phone calls, etc. all sound much more clear and crisp. You can actually test this setting out if you're on the iOS 14 beta right now by going into settings, accessibility, and audio visual to turn on headphone accommodations. From here, you can adjust the tone to boost specific frequencies or run a custom audio test that Apple will conduct in order to see which specific frequencies it thinks you might need to adjust. Speaking of hearing health, if you go into control settings and add hearing to the control center, you can actually monitor your headphone levels through this toggle. Before, this toggle was really just used to turn on live listen, but in iOS 14, you can now see what decibel level you're currently listening to music at, and it will help monitor a safe level in order to protect your hearing. Another quick AirPods control center toggle that might be useful to you now is announce messages with Siri, which is a feature that's not new by any means, but what is new is the ability to turn this feature on or off in the control center rather than having to go into settings and find that specific setting and turn it off or on, which was really annoying, so I turned it off, but sometimes there is an opportunity where you really need announce uh, messages with Siri, and there's a lot of times where you don't. So it's nice to have the ability to quickly turn that on or off. Apple is also incorporating a useful notification in iOS 14 to specifically let you know when your AirPods need to be charged. This is a great way to get ahead of charging your AirPods before you might need them, rather than finding out while you're listening and you hear that low battery sound that makes me cringe every time I hear it because you know your AirPods are getting ready to die. And so in this case, you'll now see the AirPods notification pop up and you can charge them before you plan to use them later on rather than just hearing that sound and then seeing that your battery is low in the widget. This next feature is specific to you AirPods Pro owners out there and it's by far the most intriguing new feature that Apple announced for AirPods and that is spatial audio. With spatial audio, your AirPods Pro will bring dynamic head tracking in order to make the sound and experience in movies like you're inside of a movie theater. So you all know the movie theater sound when you hear voices or music coming from behind you, the sides, above you, pretty much all around you. Well, Apple is planning to do this with AirPods Pro by applying directional audio filters and subtly adjusting frequencies in each ear. Spatial audio will also use the gyroscope and accelerometer in your AirPods Pro and your iPhone in order to make all of this work and it even tracks the motion of your head and device and then remaps everything in order to properly adjust and remap that sound for you. So if you're on a plane and you move your head or you move your iPad or iPhone, the sound will adjust accordingly in order to always give you that immersive surround sound experience. With this new spatial audio feature, of course, comes the new AirPods Pro Motion API so that everything that I just mentioned before can be implemented by developers into their own apps. 
So game developers using this new data can definitely create new experiences when users are connected to their AirPods Pro. These are some of the best new features coming to your AirPods and AirPods Pro later this fall. And of course, I would love to know all of your thoughts down in the comments below. What are you most excited about? What are you looking forward to the most? Go ahead and let me know in those comments. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.